Hello guys, this is Jimmy and welcome back to the next Archon News episode. Today I am actually doing something different to normal. I am not actually on the Archon, but I am building my new box on uh, Minelink. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. We're going to have a quick time after that in the background whilst we are talking about the news. So obviously Russia's episode 1000 is tonight or is it tomorrow night? I'm not sure. I can't remember. One of the two is there. And yeah, there's been so much speculation about what new colour is. And yeah, I've we have got quite a few people that have released it. We've had uh, Target 3D Gaming was talking about it. Uh, he thought it was going to be fact. Think of factions yellow. Uh, there's what's his name? X Turtle has said. But yeah, what we're going to quickly do now is we're going to have a quick look at Russia's video where he gives us a hint at what is going. What it's well, what it's going to be. So there, let's have a look at that. With that being said, we're going to get uh, we're going to get a hint going. So um, it's going to be very abstract. It's almost like a a riddle that's not really uh, a, a formal riddle, but it's got you know we're we're going to try and mess with you a little bit. Ben M, come over here, buddy. Come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a pickaxe? Yes, sir. Um, I have a shovel. That works. That works. Okay, so Ben, stand, be stand beside me here, dude. Stand beside me. All right? All right? Yes. So in your hand, you have a shovel. I have a pickaxe. There's two of us. Drop your pickaxe. Drop your shovel. There's two of us. There's two tools on the ground. That's your first hint. So there we go. Now that is the first hint, like you said, and what I think that is, I think that stands for two builders, two tools, which obviously is what what owns 2B2T. Well, that is 2B2T, two builders, two tools. So that is what I think. I think it's going to be hacking loud. And I've actually heard from X Turtle. obviously I haven't spoken to him, but in his video, he released a video saying roughly what he thought was going to be in it. He thought it was going to be hacking aloud, and I think I agree with this. I think it is going to be a, a, a series where you are going to be allowed to hack. Now, obviously people have said what colour it's going to be. We don't know yet. It could be... I don't know, weird, any weird call. I have no idea. That's not really too important. But what what I think is going to be happening is I think it is going to be an Archon hacked client that you are going to be able to use. Uh, and it's something like maybe, I don't even know, maybe if they can code it so that the only way you can join the server is with this Archon client. I'm not sure. That would be pretty cool if you could. I'd actually really like that. But what I think is going to be allowed is hacking. Now, hacking, obviously, is currently banned on the Archon, but obviously on this one server, they may make it legal. So there wouldn't be any old hack. It wouldn't be PvP hacks. It wouldn't be V-Clip. It wouldn't be stuff like that. I don't even know if that works, V-Clip. But what I think would be is non-malicious hacks, like, let's say, free cam, let's say X-Ray, although you can debate whether that's malicious or not. Anyway, X-Ray, free cam, maybe tracers, maybe fast break, maybe fast place, uh, just stuff like that, uh, but not, like, name tags, full bright, but not uh, PvP hacks. I don't think there's going to be PvP hacks, but what I do think is there is going to be all these new hacks, well not new hacks, all these hacks are going to be allowed using this one Archon client. Now you can't use them on other hack clients, just this one Archon client. This is what I think, and there's been rumour on the forums for quite a bit now, there's been a, there's an Archon client in the works, uh, so yeah, I think that's what is going to be on with the, the new season. I think it's going to be a hack, a server, season where hacking is allowed. Now, if, if you agree, disagree, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And yeah, let's get on to the next bit of news. So, obviously, last weekend, there was a Archon War. Now, I, I, read to re I was meant to report this early in the week, but I just haven't had enough stuff to report in an Archon News episode. But now I've got time. Now, now I've got content as well. I'm going to do it. So, Cyan X won the war. Now, there's lots of debate whether it was legit, whether it was whether it's fake, whether it is, yeah, whatever you want to say. But what, what I think is that I think it was a little bit unfair because Cyanex got nearly a full team. All the other teams didn't actually manage to get 25 players. The Mount Wee Silver only had about 13, 12, 13, I think, and others had more or less. I mean, I think, like, Chrome had, like, a team of three. It's like, well, anyway, okay, so that's that. It's not not too bad. Uh, uh, the one also con controversial thing in that was the fact that halfway through, Silver were winning. Silver were about two minutes off winning, and they removed the bedrock behind all the players in the actual cough. Now, this whether this was fair or not, it's up to you. It was never stated that this was going to happen, but 
uh, it's obviously happened and all the bedrock was removed, which means silver lost. Whether this was set up, uh, not for me to say. Maybe go and check out a video. I'll put a link down in the description to someone who live streamed it from silver called The Ender's End. Yeah, make, uh, he's, he does a whole, I don't know, three quarters video of it. Uh, well, the live stream. So, yeah, if you want to go and check that out, check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description, like I said. And also, it was Retro, Retro who actually won, uh, who who I played with on Aqua for quite a bit. So, GG to him if you're watching. Well done. Uh, I think he won it for Cyanex. Although, he may have actually won it for Aqua. I'm pretty sure Cyanex won. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now, also, what well, also, that is like, apparently there's going to be a war tomorrow as well. I'm not too sure whether there is or not, but I'm just going off what people have said. There may be a war tomorrow. I think they're picking teams again, but I don't know. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah, I think that's all we got time for this episode. If you liked it, please remember to like. It'd be amazing if we get 40 likes this episode. I'd like to give a shout out to Flo for giving me 21, IG, 21 Blaze Spawners. And one IG, I think it was around that amount. Anyway, yeah, shout out to him. Thank you very much, Flo. And yeah, uh, I just like to thank you guys for the support recently. It's been really good. If you're not yet subscribed, it'd be amazing if you could subscribe for more Archon News episodes. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys in the next Archon News episode. Oh, and yeah, if you have any news, please put it down in the comments so I can report it next episode. Thanks.